everyone. It's Miss Kim. Nice to see everybody. This morning we have a new story. It's called Play With Me by Marie Hall Etz. She's the author and illustrator. Now, this little girl right here, she wants to play with all of the animals in the meadow, but the wild animals that she finds and invites to play do not want to play with her. And it makes the little girl feel sad. So let's read the story and see if we can find out if the little girl is able to solve the problem. The sun was up and there was dew on the grass and I went to the meadow to play. A grasshopper sat on the leaf of a weed. He was eating it up for his breakfast. Grasshopper, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away. A frog stopped jumping and sat down by the pond. I think he was waiting to catch a mosquito. Frog, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away, too. Boom. A turtle was sitting on the end of a log. He was just sitting still, getting warm in the sun. Turtle, I said, will you play with me? But before I could touch him, he plopped into the water. A chipmunk was sitting beneath the oak tree, shelling an acorn with his sharp little teeth. Chipmunk, I said, will you play with me? But when I but when I ran near him, he ran up the tree. A blue jay came and sat down on a bough and jabbered and scolded the way blue jays do. Blue jay, I said, will you play with me? But when I held up my hands, he flew away. A rabbit was sitting behind the oak tree was wiggling his nose and nibbling a flower. Rabbit, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he ran into the woods. A snake came sneaking through the grass, zigzagging and sliding the way snakes do. Snake, I said, will you play with me? But even the snake ran away down in this hole. None of them, none of them would play with me. So I picked a milkweed and blew off its seeds. Then I went to the pond and sat down on a rock and watched a bug make trails in the water. And as I sat there without making a sound, Grasshopper came back and sat down beside me. Then Frog came back and sat in the grass. Then Slowpoke Turtle crawled back to his log. And Chipmunk came and watched me and chattered. And Blue Jay came back to his bow overhead. And Rabbit came back and hopped around me. And Snake came out of his hole. And as I sat there still without making a sound, so they wouldn't get scared and run away, out from the bushes where he had been hiding came a baby fawn. And he looked at me. I held my breath and he came nearer. He came so near I could have touched him. But I didn't move and I didn't speak. And Fawn came up and licked my cheek. Oh, now I was happy, as happy as could be for all of them. All of them were playing with me. The end. So what do you guys think? Do you think she was able to solve the problem about the, the critters in the forest playing with her? All right. I hope you enjoyed this story, friends. Stay well. Take care.